Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome guitar video here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're going to continue to explore the sheer awesomeness of the baritone guitar. And in this video, I would like us to get a little more into the drop D sound as it sounds on a baritone guitar, because the drop D uh, tuning uh, allows us to explore uh, a different setting, a different mindset than the standard tuning. And as I showed you in the previous uh, video, um, the normal chords don't really apply um, as open chords here on the baritone guitar. You need to pick and choose your notes. So the drop D tuning actually makes it a little bit easier, um, especially for exploration. So if you just put a D sus2 chord on, okay, a D chord with the open first crank, immediately you get a nice chord. Now, why is that? Why does this chord work so well? Um, it's simple. It's because you have mainly fourths and fifths. Okay, the intervals, they're very, very even, okay, wavelength-wise. So, okay, so you get fourths and fifths, which are very pure in sound and very symmetrical. So they don't get in each other's way. But if you pick and choose your notes, okay, it sounds even better. So uh, this is now a drop A tuning. This is a low A note. Now, when this guitar is plugged in, you can hear the bass uh, actually a lot better, but for our purposes, this is enough. We don't, we don't even need to plug it in, okay? Okay, now you can use the, okay, the 3-0 uh, pentatonic setting on the bass strings, but I would like to avoid this for now because I would like to show you how easy it is to create hypnotic uh, chords and sounds on the baritone guitar. You just move this shape around, the two and three on strings three and two, you just... Just move it around. Okay, you take it three frets up, two frets up, two more, three more, okay? In a, in a pentatonic uh, frame of mind. And if you have... Okay, the pentatonic sound here, as long as you have open strength surrounding it, um, you're going to do fine. So you see, I sprinkled in the 0 3 on the bass, even as a pull off. Okay, or. Okay, just, just as, a, as a transition, because you need to really be careful with your bass notes when you play a baritone guitar. You don't want a mud, you don't, you don't want that muddy sound. Um, so you want to sprinkle it in. then an octave up, okay, an octave up. So you don't even, the baritone guitar is so awesome that you don't, you don't need to work hard. It's, it's actually, um, it, it goes against our instincts as fingerstyle players and guitar players because you need to be very delicate when you play a baritone guitar. Even if you want to get those weird chords, um, you need to be careful. You know that I like weird chords. So the, the, the surest formula, the fastest formula to get weird chords is just to get a half tone below or above a chord that sounds well. So if we have this on 7 and 8, then 8 and 9 would sound weird. Or 6 and 7. Okay? But this would give us D major 7, so let's go to 8 and 9. See, the very 
Tone guitar. Gives us different options. Yeah, you can take this augmented chord. Uh, shape and move it around as well if you if you like it. Don't worry, I'm gonna come back to normal chords in a second. I just wanted to give you a taste of what weird chords sound like here. So the augmented shape is uh, let's say let's take it on the as a as a basic chord. Uh, it's gonna be three three two on strings two three and four. Okay, so. Okay, you can mix it up with the um, moving fourth. You see, when you mix two different shapes and move them around, you get a little bit of finger style magic without working too hard. So. Okay, now granted, Using your fingertips on a baritone guitar doesn't produce the best sound. Especially not on the bass notes. You need to, uh, to use fingernails. Okay, so that produces a little bit of a better result. Okay, so just experiment. Um, what I did now was uh, basically going between a major seven uh, shape and a seventh shape. Didn't work, okay? But I'm experimenting um, because again, this creates a muddy sound. You need to be careful. Again, you need to go for very basic approaches, very wide intervals. So, for example, this would work the kind of um, bass and third sounds can work really well. Okay? But it kind of sounds, it sounds like a normal guitar to me. It, sound, it, it doesn't give you the benefit of a baritone. You want to work those bass notes. So you can, you can do uh, something like, okay, something like this. But it sounds it sounds too thin, in my opinion. You need harmony. So again, I would just keep it simple. drop D tuning, you get a nice G over D sound. You see what I'm doing is I'm playing both D strings. Okay, something is a little bit out of tune here. Let's let's check. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit out of tune. Okay, so you can also get the those uh, harmonics on four and nine, which are the same. You can. You can play around with them if you want. Okay, all I'm doing is adding one or two notes on the on the first string. Um, just okay, just uh, a major uh, a major scale. I, I'm playing 12, 10, uh, 9, and seven. 
and I'm just picking the the harmonics on 7, 5, and 12, okay, as a block, okay, together, and playing the bass now. ideas and see if those work. just need to get in the moment. All I did was five. And I dirtied up the sound. I played it with the tip of my fingernail and vibrated it uh, unsymmetrically. Okay, so it sounded uh, wild. Okay, you can also uh, finger pick, arpeggiate. Okay, your harmonic. You can also add artificial harmonics if you like. Okay, if you if you want. Okay, I have lessons for that. Search the channel. Okay, you can do waterfall harmonics. I took the original shape and moved it around on the same notes that I played. 12, 10. And I played it as a harmony. Now I want you to notice something. Nothing I'm doing here is complicated. It's just groove. It's just rhythm. I'm playing harmonics. I'm playing that moving... that moving shape that I showed you at the beginning, okay? Just the moving fourth. I'm playing just a very simple part of a major scale, okay? And that's it. And I'm playing open strength, just a G over D chord, okay? Just open strength. That's all I'm doing. I, I wasn't using any of those weird chords that I showed you the augmented chord, nothing. It's just open strings, harmonics, and one moving shape, okay? If you think that what I'm doing here is complicated, you can take your guitar and try it yourself, okay? Maybe you don't have a baritone guitar, so it would sound different, but you can try it on a normal guitar as well and see how that goes. So uh, that's the drop D tuning. Now, it wouldn't sound the same on a standard tuning, Okay, on a baritone guitar, it wouldn't sound the same. It's the it's the it's this low A note, the drop D tuning note, um, that allows us to make sense of those harmonics. Because if this note okay, was B, then it, it wouldn't be as um, as prominent and ha and as harmonic as this. Okay, so again, you have to be very careful. You have to choose your, uh, your sound. Okay. You can add that octave note here um, on top of it if you want. You can do a D5 shape, okay, 5, 3, 2, and move that around. Hey, let's let's try this and then we'll finish the lesson. Let's see what I get. Now 
know, I'm still, my mind, my mind's ear still want, wants to continue exploring the previous idea. I can't switch uh, yeah. into a new idea yet. I, I'm going to continue exploring this old one. So uh, if you want to stay and listen, be my guest. If not, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. So now I'm going to continue to explore a little bit and play for your pleasure. <laughs>